Good day. In this video, I'm going to show you how to generate Alphalis dat file and print BIR form 2316, the easiest way. To begin with, please log in to BIRXLUploader.com. Click the Let's Get Started blue button, and then, click the BIR Forms icon, the fourth icon from the left. BIRXL Uploader supports three forms, 2316, 2307, and, 2306. Let's continue and click Form 2316. Always read the This Page Guide. According to the guide, first step is to generate BIR DAD file for 1604C. Second step, set signature printing options. And third, click the refresh icon to include the newly generated 1604C DAD files from the list. Let's begin generating DAD files. Click the Four Steps Guide icon. To generate DAT file, we will need to download Excel template where we will populate it with our data. In this tutorial, we will generate 1604C DAT files. 1604C has many schedules, for demo purposes, we will create schedule 7.1, 7.3, and, 7.5, then we will consolidate them in one DAT file. Now let's download the template for schedule 7.1, just click to download. After downloading the Excel file format, please take time to analyze the sample data in the file. The sample data will give you a good idea on what your file should look like. The header of the Excel file row 1, is fixed. Do not edit or insert any new column. The system will always read the sheet 1 of the file with the specific sheet name. Do not edit the sheet name or insert new sheet in front of it. For best result, only edit the row 2 onward, and leave everything else as is. Looking at the sample data, tax ID number is employee tax ID, all fields are required. Those fields with gray backgrounds are auto-calculated like gross compensation, total non-taxable, total taxable income, net taxable, and of course, the total tax due. Again, all fields are required, do not leave any field empty, you can put zero instead. One of common mistakes of the user is highlighting the whole column, and then clicking the comma format. Big mistake. In effect, row 1 was also edited, and as a result, those columns will be tagged as error. To avoid this, always use a working file, and then, paste your data in row 2 onward, avoiding any accidental edit on row 1. This template was patterned from the actual fields of Alphalis data entry. It is must that you know how to use the data entry before using BIRXLUploader.com. Once we are done populating the data, review it first. Save it with your chosen file name, and then we can proceed to convert our Excel file. Let's close our Excel template and go back to BIR Excel Uploader app. Go to Generate DAT File page by clicking the third icon. If this is the first time that you will use BIR Excel Uploader, you will need to fill out the BIR header information before you can proceed converting the Excel file. Let's go back to our Generate BIR DAT File page. All fields are required, reporting period should be always end of the reporting year. Choose the reporting type corresponding the Excel template we created, in this case, Annual 1604 CF 7.1. Select the Excel file that we want to convert, and then, click that green button to generate the file. You will notice that file generated is S71 file instead of a DAT file. As previously mentioned, 1604C has many schedules and later we will consolidate them in one DAT file. As this point, we can now generate BIR Form 2316 for employees included in Schedule 7.1. Let's go back to BIR Form page and click Form 2316. Now that we are done with Step 1, let's proceed to Step 2, setting up the printing option. Go ahead and click the Basic Printing Option link. Again. Take time to read the this page guide. Save the printing options and let's go back to form 2316. Third step, refresh to include the newly generated files from the list. Finally, we are ready to generate BIR form 2316. In event that form 2316 did not show up, please ensure that your pop-up blocker is disabled for BIRXLUploader.com. Let's repeat the process for Schedule 7.3 and 
Now that we have all the schedules, let's generate some more BIR form 2316. Remember third step? Refresh to include the newly generated files from the list. Play with the all different options. This concludes our tutorial for BIR Form 2316. Let's proceed further to consolidate our schedules to a DAT file. Let's download those schedule files S71, S73, and S75. We have two options. We can repeat the process in converting the Excel file or we can use the viewer to download those schedules. Let's try the viewer. Click the eye looking icon, fifth from the left. If you have too many DAT files, you can use the Smart Search field to filter the list. Let's proceed and download all the needed files. Open the ALFALIST Validation Module version 6.1. Input your tax ID number, branch code and taxable year. Click the 1604 CF. Tick the By Schedule Radio button. Schedule fields are now enabled. Let's browse for Schedule 7.1, Schedule 7.3, and Schedule 7.5. Now that we have all the schedules location, let's consolidate them by clicking the Consolidate button at the lower left of the window. Once consolidated, the validation module will shift to by form and then, the location of the consolidated file will appear at the input field. Finally, validate by clicking the Validate File button located at the lower right of the window. That file is now ready to be sent to submission at bir.gov.ph. Thank you.